Hi everyone, I'm Olivia Garrison with the Clemson Insider here with Will Vandervoort for the Monday Blitz. Today we had our first press conference of the year. You got a chance to talk to Cleveland Farrell today about the depth at defensive end. What did he have to say about that? Well, you know, we put the depth chart out there earlier today and, and people probably noticed that Lugan Rudolph and Justin Foster were listed second and third team and there was no Xavier Kelly. So I kind of went in over there and asked him, I was like, you know, what's going on with Xavier Kelly? Right. You know, is he okay? And, and he said, yeah, he's fine. It's just, you know, um, you know, he's he's had a little time adjusting to the the scheme. He says when he was in college, I mean high school, he could just coaches say go get the guy, right. and that's all he really had to do. And he says, you know, with Coach V's defense, there's a lot that goes into it. And so, you know, he was really kind of just like, you know, kind of went over it with me, like, you know, this is why he's maybe a little behind, and you know, and kind of doing why he's not listed right there. But then I asked him, I said, so what about those other two? You know, they've kind of they're sitting there. I know y'all guys don't have any bodies, and I know they got to play, you know, but that's kind of surprising, though, to see two freshmen sitting on the depth chart. And he said, absolutely. Right. He said, but that's the way those two guys have come in. He said, Logan has been, like, a beast. He's like, even though he's kind of playing injured, the guy's, like, you know, just killing it out there, making plays. He says he's being disruptive. The same thing with Justin Foster. And, you know, so he's just really excited about both those young guys and says they're going to really kind of add a lot to the table for this defense. And they, he feels really good about the depth yeah. of defensive end, even though a lot of people right now are really concerned about it. Yeah. Uh, you also had a chance to talk to Kelly Bryant. He's the first quarterback to start from South Carolina since 2001, and you got to talk to him about that. What did he have to say about that? Well, he, he was really excited because, you know, him he met Kelly Bryant – I mean, excuse me, Kelly Bryant met him, Woodrow Dantzler, uh, when he first came to Clemson for camp. And so he kind of built this relationship with right. them. And at the time, he didn't really know who Woody was and stuff like that. So he went back and looked and watched. And it's like, wow, he saw all these great right. things Woody did. You know, it was electrifying on the field. That's as the way Kelly described him. And he's like, you know, so it's just great that he got this relationship to build with him. And at the time, he wasn't thinking, oh, I'm going you know, to go be the first quarterback since him. Wasn't even thinking right. that. And he's like, now it's like, here's his mentor, a guy he really looks up to, yeah. thinks a lot of. And actually, I'm the first guy from this state to replace him right. uh, you know, as a starting quarterback. He's like, Man, that's just so awesome. It kind of like you know gave him goosebumps and stuff, and so he was really just excited about that, and he's looking forward to you know I asked him like you know what's it like you know you get to run down that hill and you're from Calhoun Falls, which is right down the road, you know you're gonna get that opportunity to be the starting quarterback, you know what's that like? Because I know you've been dreaming about this since a kid, and right. he's and, yeah. he, and he's like oh man this is like a blast. He's like you know I've always thought about it what it would be like, and now I'm actually getting to live it. He says when he goes home, people are all like oh man we're so excited for you. You're yeah. gonna be the starting quarterback, little. Calhoun Falls is going to have the starting quarterback at Clemson and yeah. and so he's like he's just really proud and, and and you know he says you know he thinks about all his family and his friends and stuff back home that he's getting this opportunity because a lot of them would love to be where he's at so he's kind of humbled about it as, right. as well so awesome so that's all we have for you today stay tuned we will be here tomorrow for Dabo's press conference